Hi everyone, it's Emerson from Classy Clean Chic. Either welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome. Um, we are super excited, having lots of fun today. So we are in the middle of my moving vlog series. So today is part three. So we did a part one the day that I moved in, an empty apartment tour moving in like beginning moving in then we did some a second one which was like all the furniture and then today is going to be number three and it'll be like small spaces and how i am organizing everything so i am super excited to take you along and show you how i organize everything um and there will be a final apartment tour probably for four but i might actually add some more vlogs in we'll see um but if you're interested in like staying up to date with everything make sure to subscribe and continue to watch continue along the fun um so yeah let's get started so we are in my closet and actually with my closet it came with like those like white like I don't know those like not cute like just like white things on the wall and so I took all those down and then I got this IKEA PAX system PAX and the way you can do it is you can kind of like plug and play and like design how you want it so that's what I did um, you just kind of like pick how you want it, what the heights you want. I did like measured how long like a dress was so that I could make sure that this was long enough here. Um, and then kind of put it together and then I actually hired someone to put it together and they drilled it actually into the wall. Um, I'll probably, I'll have to drill it out. This is an apartment, so I'll have to drill it out after I'm done. Um, but it has a lot of space, especially, it doesn't seem like it does, but for clothes like this is a lot. So this is where my long items are. Um, and then I have like some, I need to figure out a better system for my like underwear and random things, but I have these like bins down here. Um, that's just for a practice right now. Um, and then I have, I guess up here you can see I have like an area for purses. So we have like smaller purses and then a little bit larger purses here. And then I still have one extra spot. Um, and I actually do have like purses behind that I don't want to like, or that I just don't have on display so that you can have a little bit more room and then up on the top like boxes and other purses as well and then this kind of area in here is it's kind of a mess right now <laughs> but it's like my jewelry area so i have like a couple of different whoops little like jewelry items and holders and containers um i'll link all of these things below but like this is for long necklaces i really like this i can also like put um bracelets down here as well so that's that's been really nice and it keeps them like untangled this works really well I just need to find more space for all of my bracelets so this works really well for rings um and some bracelets but it's kind of there's just too much going on in here right now um and you also can have a little monogram on it so that's how I have that and then over here I have some uh, more like acrylic items to store like scrunchies these are really good and then this stores dangly jewelry but this can't do hoops but it's nice for dangly jewelry so I'll put that them there and store those and then I also have I don't know why this is over here um I also have I just use like wine glasses for like extra lip glosses and different things sometimes and then this right here is for sunglasses so I can put my different sunglasses in there like that and then this one I the lid is dropped I should have got it together before we started oh my lord so then this is a little um doohickey for headbands and you can store like, items inside so obviously I have something that's too big and it's not <laughs> so it's not fitting right now so we need to get that together so I put that on there the other thing that I have in here too is a little clip um for like my perfumes and stuff. These I actually use, oh, we can show you in the bathroom. I actually use these in the bathroom too, but they're good for out here as well to kind of like store things. And it just makes it look a lot cleaner, I think. Um, and everything kind of has a place, like this should be back here. Um, everything kind of has a place for where it should go. Um, this candle is actually done, but it looks pretty. So I just leave it in here because I've got, I don't normally burn candles inside here. Um, and then I guess moving into this area, it's surprising how much this actually does hold. So like I have it, so we've got jeans in here, um, shorts, these are just like skirts, um, more jeans, leggings and things. I'm um, just folded them, especially since it's like the pit part that you can see, I just wanted those to look actually nice. Um, and then in here I've got 
hopefully folded nice all my leggings and then I actually have these um, dividers that are really nice just to kind of keep it looking a little bit nicer uh, and have everything kind of stored nice and then I have it color coordinated so we've got like leggings leggings and pants and t-shirts over here and then more sweat pajamas I have all the leggings and sweat pajamas <laughs> and then in this one we've got this is pullovers so I just folded those just nice to have them kind of away I'm not sure what I have oh so then I have another divider here this one's kind of just a mess because bathing suits are always like that but it's just nice to have them all in here and then on the bottom I have it too full because I can't do this is I have all of my sweatshirts and hoodies and then I also have a divider in this one too so let's see if we can close that it's excellent um and then over here just have shirts again and then I'll also link up my hangers I just got like krill clear acrylic I like these because they're not super thick um, but then they also look nice so that's good and then so that's pretty much the pack system and everything that I have in it which I am loving and it's really for how nice it is it's really not that expensive I'm really impressed with it um, another little hack that we did is we had these little like, command hooks for belts um, super easy and you can just pull them down but just makes it look nice and clean and has a, an easy place to hold those. So we have that. And then I guess we can come over here. I have this shoe rack wall. Um, I had them all my, a lot of my shoes in bins, but I just, I think this is a little bit nicer and easier. Um, the other thing is I try to, at least it came off, is sometimes it comes off the side. So I use like that and then my shoe falls. Is I use like command strip tape to kind of like it's not touching that one right now, but at the bottom at least is, um, to try to stick it to there. Um, this is my laundry bin, really cute. Um, I wanted something that was like skinny and tall that would fit in here. So that's pretty much my closet. And then I think we'll go into my bedroom. Old apartment, and then I decided to get more for this apartment because I love them, I love the way they look. Um, they actually, like on the wall, they come with like huge rods and they like, push them in so you like drill the rods and then push them in push the like outside in and it like goes over them um anyway it's just really nice and easy way to show like all of your shoes and have like some storage but then also have it on display so i used it for this wall we used five um and then i'll probably like, switch it out like when it's more winter there'll probably be more boots i guess i still have some boots but just kind of depends so it's really good for storage um, so I got the longer ones are over here and then I'll show you the shorter ones later. Um, and then for my boots, I have these like stand up situations, um, that, that just like, I don't know, you can't really see, but anyway, it's like a little black thing. So it goes to like here and then it helps them to stand up. I just feel like that makes it look a lot better and cleaner. Um, and it looks like it's away instead of just having them like all over the floor, like I used to have. So that's this area. And then we'll go over to the other clothes area. So this is actually in my bedroom so I used a lot of yeah use a lot of my bedroom space for clothes okay so this is the other area of my apartment with more storage um, to have kind of like extra clothes area so this is I put all my sneakers here these are the same shelves as I shared over there um, but these are shorter ones and so then I just use them for all of my white sneakers um, and then kind of mix these out but it's just nice to have them up here and on like everything has a place so I love these um, and then the other thing that I have is this um, little like armoire situation this has been super helpful for me the way I use it is like all of my new clothes that comes in that I need to shoot or want to do a try on haul so like right now I have some stuff from Target that I need to share and Walmart um, and then I think I have some other stuff this is from um, Chaser I'm gonna share that so just kind of a nice way to have it on display and then know what I have and what I need to share and what I don't and then everything in my closet is like done and I can just wear if I want it um and I've had this for a while it's pretty easy to put together they have it in like options where it's just this portion or like this um I also put like new shoes kind of over here that I need to share too um and I guess apparently some hats I don't know. um and then I use again those command hooks up here to place my hats, hopefully that stays on there. So it just kind of looks a little bit nice. So that's kind of my bedroom area. And then I had a couple more things I wanted to share. We'll head into the bathroom. 
So we are in the bathroom now, and this is honestly, I think, one of my favorite organizational things. So these are these like little clear, I don't know, wall holders, and they hold so much product. It's I'm obsessed with them. They look so good. So many of you have snagged them, um, and it's just an easy way to get it off of the counter. Even though sometimes I still have stuff on the counter, um, and the things that you're using. So I love them. They get like secured in the wall. They're not gonna like fall off. Um, anyway, love those. So that's like one way that I organize. And then also like inside my drawers, those same. This it doesn't fit as perfect in this one as it did in my other drawers, but these little. Um, drawer organizers so they're just little clear plastic organizers and you can use them um, and pick different ones mix and match kind of depending on what items that you want to have in there so I use those for all of those drawers so I really like to have those um, another thing I guess we use those command hooks again um, to put I don't know just this little robe and if I want to have like a towel or something here so that's just kind of nice little extra easy tip to have Okay, now we're in like the kitchen area, so I just have a couple of things I wanna share. So this is, these are just like little spice rack holder. So just easy to put my spices in, to have them kind of on display. Obviously I might need to get a few more spices, but that's what we have here. Okay, and then something else that I got, I just got these like easy little container, clear containers that kind of match everything else um, to put, I don't know, whatever, an apple core cutter um, and then my forks and knives and my bajillion straws. So just nice to kind of have them a little bit more organized, looks a lot better. So I'll link those also below. Okay, so you made it through, you saw all of my organizational hacks. Um, I'll probably still have some more coming through, but that's kind of what I have now. I'm really liking how everything is coming together and I hope that some of the hacks are gonna be able to help you to kind of organize I know sometimes it can be difficult for smaller spaces and being able to get a lot of clothes or a lot of anything together and organized. Um, so if you like this, um, definitely hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And then I hope to see you back probably next week or maybe in a couple weeks with the final tour.